boy is just Virgo. Another YouTube video today, people. Very interesting video. We've all seen online Twitter that Slim, I call him Slim Shady, has actually kind of not I say announced his next fight, but announced that Mams Taylor has offered him Amir Khan. Can you believe that? Mams Taylor, I said to Slim Slim Shady, if you beat Amir Khan, that will give you the position to fight KSI next. Now, what I've seen on social media and Slim, Slim has signed a multiple fight deal with Misfits. It means that Slim has signed a contract with Misfits to fight three, four times in a year. And Misfits has got to obligate with that and they've got to put him on shows and give him fights, offer him fights. And they both got an honor and a contract. Now, with these Misfits fights so far, I've seen is they're all ducking certain fighters. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, I've came into this space, came into this universe of crossover boxing, infidel boxing, believing it's not like the pro games. Because in the pro games, there's too many people avoiding other people, avoiding, avoiding fighters. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Now that's kind of stopping in a hope because Saudi Arabia has now been putting on top class events. So basically, Saudi, what Saudis are doing now is like saying, no, cool, if you're the best of the best, you gotta fight the best of the best. There's no kind of panning your record and avoiding fighters. If you really want to fight, fight the best in Saudi. That's what Saudi Arabia is doing at the moment. So the pro game is changing in a sense in Saudi Arabia. But in the UK, the pro game is still kind of like people talking to each other, don't want to fight this person, don't want to fight this person. Now, with these influencers, crossovers, fighters, they're kind of doing the same thing now as pros. Like, they don't want to fight opposition or they don't want to take the big opportunity to upscale their stardom. For Slim to actually accept the fight to fight Amir Khan, for one, his stardom will go up, and two, if he was good enough and he actually beat Amir Khan, he, he was in the perfect position to fight KSI. I understand what Mams is doing, because by Slim fighting Khan, that gives Slim in the right position, the right stardom, enough stardom, not to level up with KSI, my boy, but coming closest to, coming close to KSI, to be like, okay, you're not level, people know who you are, boom, we get this fight on. At the moment, Slim's in, I won't say my position, but at the moment, Slim hasn't got enough clout behind him to fight KSI, hence why the fight ain't happening. So by him accepting the fight with Khan, it will give him that opportunity. I understand that. I just don't get why Slim, Slim Shady, didn't accept the fight with open arms. Twitter man's has stated he has offered him seven to eight opponents and he's turned every single opponent down. All these opponent man's is offering slim. Those type of opponents, I could have kind of kind of got offered because those kind of opponents are offering slim, they might kind of carry our skill set. So I'm thinking, bro, like if slim doesn't want to take these opportunities, man's like throw it at me. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. If you offer me Khan, that would have been a sick fight. I understand Mams ain't really gonna be offering me Khan, the Khan fight, because I ain't got the clout, I ain't got the stardom yet to match up with Khan. But we all gotta bear in mind, Tommy Fury, when he got introduced into the space, no one kind of, people knew who he was, but Jake Paul gave him the opportunity to get that stardom. For example, Jake Paul, when Jake Paul was gonna fight Hashim Rackham Jr., he gave him that kind of stardom, that kind of like wow factor, like, okay, people know who you are. Your stardom has increased, you know what I mean, people? So I'm thinking, okay, then, okay, I've got the stardom, but I've got the skill set, and I can start a fight, and I promote this fight. Amir Khan is an ex-world champion. This guy is, is an elite amateur fighter. Obviously, he lost to um, Cowbrook in his last fight. Also, Khan had 34 wins, six losses, but he's been knocked out five times. Me and Khan will make a more of a kind of sense fight. Like... If I got offered that fight, I'll take that fight as a heartbeat. I know Khan, I don't know what Khan's winning at the moment, but I know Khan wouldn't want to fight at 175. So I would say, Khan, I'll meet you in the morning, I'll meet you catch rate in, in middle, let's fight at 168 or we could fight at 165. 
whatever Carmen wants to fight because I believe that'd be, be a sick fight. You know what I mean? Even as a co-main event, I'll take that fight or what any day of the week. But I just don't understand why Slim ain't taking these opportunities. There's more people who ain't taking certain opportunities. Mams Taylor has offered me numerous fights, numerous fights. And I've always said yes, you know what I mean? I've always said yes. He's even offered me the Muslim case and fight. That's gonna be another story and I will, we'll dig into that kind of fight on another YouTube video. So let's save that for another video, but I will talk about Muslim case and another, another video, but I've got, I got offered fights and I always say yes. First fight, AT or fight Aaron Jarmans, whoever gets offered to me, I'm like, boom, let's fight. I'm a fight, man. I want to fight. I've got to put food on my family's table. So we've got to fight. You know what I mean? We're price fighters at the end of the day. We ain't got long in this career. Same time, Amir Khan is 37. It'll be a banging fight. So guys, let me know in the comment below that me and Amir Khan will be a great fight. <laughs>
there guys, as you can see from the clips of Amir Khan, me and him will be a exciting fight. His clips there, you can see already, like, his style will match my style. You guys already know how I fight and you guys already seen my style. So, these two styles will make a great fight. Hence why I know this Amir Khan fight needs to happen regardless. Co-main event at least. It doesn't have to be main event. Put, put us as a co-main event. I will fight Amir Khan, people. Let's start our campaign. Let's share this video. And let's see if we can make this Fight happened on to X. Everyone is saying Idris Vago is a better option than Slim to fight Amir Khan. So let's make it happen, people. Okay, now guys, this is the end of the video. You already know what we do as a family when we end our videos off all together. Three, two, one. Woo!